so first of all, just you know, a fact is like I have a balance. I determine the mass of this object. That's a fact. So that's sort of trivial. I mean, a bunch of facts can help you though to determine a law, which is a mathematical statement. It basically says here's an equation that explains how some aspect of nature works. And then a theory is a predictive larger overarching structure like Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection, which describes, explains, and puts into a larger context a bunch of ideas. And that can incorporate facts and laws and all that sort of thing. Yeah, so, so we're talking about a law of nature. There's a mathematical description about how one part of nature works. And there may be about 10 or 12 existing laws, macroscopic laws, big word. It just means what we experience. Now you wake up in the morning, your alarm clock goes off, you have to get yourself out of bed, you're working against gravity, you go to the bathroom, you, you, know, you have hot running water, you make yourself a cup of coffee which cools. And then all those actions, you've just experienced all those macroscopic laws of nature. Let's, let's talk just real quickly. So, you know, the first ones, about 400 years ago, Isaac Newton comes up with the laws of motion. It's three statements that just tells you how masses and forces interact. So you can lift up a coffee cup or you can roll a bowling ball or you can drive your car or send off a rocket. That's Newton's laws of motion. Newton also uh, came up with this law of universal gravitation. And the story about, you know, the apple falling from a tree and hitting him on his head was probably apocryphal. But nonetheless, Newton made this very impressive insight that that act of the apple falling from the tree was the same process, can be described by the same law of nature as the moon falling around the earth. Mm. And so one thing that we look for in natural laws are these equivalencies that bind seemingly disparate phenomena under the same framework. Right, and so, right, and so yeah. that's what makes a law a law, is that it, it, it is a universal statement that can apply to many different situations, many different phenomena at mm. once, and capture them under this umbrella, this very simple simple, elegant statement. Um, and so that's something that we recognized early on when we were working on this idea that natural laws are, are, are built upon these conceptual equivalencies, we call yeah. them. This, this mm. idea that this thing unifies disparate phenomena.